Hello everyone and welcome back to the Thomas Gallery. Today we have a skull of the American Brown Bear or more famously known as the Grizzly Bear. Right? And the scientific name for the Grizzly Bear is Orsus Arctus hmm, Horribilis. I wonder what that could mean. I know usually when I see it right here, I think like Ursa Major, like the Great Bear and all that stuff. Not sure what this means. Arctos. But I found something uh, very strange uh, yesterday. When I was, uh, if you anybody watched the video I did of the koala bear, right? I did a koala bear drawing. I noticed a. A similarity not in the koala bear itself but in the name if you look right here Octus the koala bear has a similar name in it see Fescula Octus Octus so I wonder why like, I wonder what that could mean like could mean like what that that Octus can mean and yeah, false color I guess that's where false comes from false colors Octus like false bear, because since the koala isn't actually a bear, it's a marsupial. But I find that very, very, you know, strange. But anyway, the American brown bear, or the grizzly bear, or yogi bear, pretty much. You might want to reference this thing of yogi bear. You know, smaller than the average bear, yogi bear, yeah. He is a brown bear. Uh, they range, like, all over the West Coast, you know, mountainous regions. <laughs> and they're pretty, pretty large. They are pretty, pretty large. They, the, the grizzly bear is usually the bear you'll see. Like, you like the Nature Channel and stuff, that's usually the bear you'll see. You see in Canada, like, from Canada all the way to... You know the Dakotas and Montana, like those those mountainous regions, those wilderness regions and stuff. Alaska, Montana, you know, parts of Canada, all of those places. That's usually where you'll find the grizzly bear. And they're large. Uh, they're omnivores. Bears in general are omnivores. Meaning they eat both plants and animals. If you look here, these teeth right here, you know, they're usually they're, they're really meant for grinding up uh, vegetation. But you have these large canines here, which are for eating meat. So, bears are omnivores. They have a, they have a quite large, uh, they have a large variety of diet. You know, they eat plants, they eat bugs, meat, you know. But what I've noticed that often, bears don't eat as much meat as people think they do. You know, they, they use it, they use it like for like a little, like a little protein supplement, something like that. But from the most of the diet, it's not meat which is you know it's odd in a cool way you know you have animals that, that are very very large that eat mostly vegetation they don't really dabble too much in meat now like I said they, they, they have to okay they, they have they have they can do it but not often, and even though I didn't enjoy to have like long, these long claws, these like these long, these, like they have some, they have some claws on them, like they have a swipe at you. Anybody, whoever saw the um the video of the guy who got um who got attacked by the bear and ran and ran away from the bear and did a video about it, who's who remember that video? Does anybody remember that video? 
will tell you, like, bears are not an animal to take lightly. You know, bears, for the most part, don't bother nobody. Except, like, mainly if, like, if you get too close to their young, then, you know, then that whole mama bear, the whole mama bear uh, syndrome thing, like, don't, like, that whole mama bear attitude, how mothers, how, how viciously they protect their offspring. <clears throat> well, that is appropriate because mother bears are extremely protective, as all mothers are. And then is Bears are a lot stronger, a lot faster than, you know, people really, really know. Like, you don't want no problems with a mama bear. When mama bear come for you, you just, you know, pray you can get away fast enough. Because if not, that's, 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 that's just it for you. As simple as that. You got problems on your hands. Let's see. Right. I think the only time I've ever seen a bear up close is in the zoo and I personally prefer to keep it that way because you know I don't you know I I'm very very aware of nature I understand where I am and what animals or what you know I, I respect nature enough to know when the when the back up when to get close you know it's certain things I've learned to leave alone in this world and it has kept me quite safe for quite some time. Certain things, you know, you just need to know to leave alone. It just ain't for you. It, you don't want no problems with that. Because I know how human mothers act when it comes to their young and how vicious a human mother can get. So, what I want? Why would I want to have a mess with a bear and their cubs? I just don't get it. So anybody, anybody who's who's brave slash stupid enough to go mess with a, a, a get close to a mama or get close to a cub, and you know, you're pretty much asking to have your whole face swiped off like a credit card. You're, just, you're asking for it. Leave them bears alone, man. How many times I gotta keep saying that in, in these videos? Leave these bears alone. Leave certain this is in general. Leave animals alone. Now you you can observe animals from a distance. You can study them from a distance. I understand, I understand for the sake of science. I get it. I get it. I get it. But at certain times, at certain places, you need just need to leave certain animals alone, man. Cer not every animal is going to be as as gentle as you know we would like to think that you no know, cartoons and you no know, the nature channel you no know, and it's, it's educational you know i mean yes we're dealing with experts who who have handled animals for quite some time but even they even the best es experts can get into some trouble just rest in peace to the crocodile hunter. You know, it's sometimes it's just best to leave Mother Nature alone. But, you know, when it comes to that, you know, the 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 investigation of certain animals, <laughs> better you than me, that's how I feel. Better you than me. Trust me, I don't want to be near 
a mama bear when a cub when you not whenever you see a cub in the woods, go away. Go away. Because rest assured, the mother is close behind. And if if Mama Bear finds you near her offspring, near her cub, she is not gonna walk up to you and gently say, uh, excuse me, um, may I help you? Uh, why are you near my son? No. She's going to see you near her cub and see you as a threat. And then you can just go ahead and kiss your whole face goodbye. And the whole play dead crap is BS. Don't believe that play dead crap. You play dead with a bear if you want to. Don't be playing no more. That whole, you know, if you see a bear and it attacks you, you, just, you know, play dead and it, 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 it will think you're dead. No, it won't. No, it won't. Bears know the difference between something that's living and something that's dead. You playing dead does not actually give you the smell of death. I who I want who thought that that was smart to say. If you if if you ever been attacked, if you've been first of all, first of all, they said if you're being attacked by a bear, that means that. The punishment is already happening. You are already on the verge of dying. See, if you're being attacked, that's that means that means if being means you're in the process. So, if a bear is attacking you, you really think that you're gonna be thinking about playing dead? Like that's gonna be on your mind. Like, oh, I'm having my, I'm having my arm ripped off. The bear is biting my head. My hand is being gnawed off. Now I got like three fingers left. Hmm. Let me play dead and maybe the bear will notice and stop eating my face. Really? Really? Like that, that's, 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 that's the best answer. Come on, man. Come on, man. Whoever, whoever said that was probably was never attacked by a bear. Whoever said that if when it, if you're being keep, keep my look listen to the sentence if you're being attacked that means it's happening as we speak if you're being attacked by a bear the best thing to do is to lay down and play dead first of all if you're being attacked by a bear you're already laying down because it got you on the ground let's just talk about that piece of common sense if you're being attacked already nine times out of ten you're already on the ground. So ain't no sense of laying down. You're already down. Let's move on. If you're being attacked by a bear, most likely you're being swatted. You're being chewed up. You're being hit. You're being hit with the full power of an angry bear ready to eat you or kill you because you got too close to their young. I promise you, there is no way on earth you want to have any logical thought in your head saying to yourself hmm let me pause this scenario and let me let me see what's the best course of action i know i'm going to lay down like i'm already doing and play dead like i will be in a few minutes and surely that will trick the bear into thinking that oh i'm already dead stop eating me really that's that's what we doing. You think that the bear doesn't know the difference between dead flesh and living flesh. Because there is a smell between dead flesh and non-dead flesh. There is a different smell. It's called DK. Not D-K-N-Y. Oh my, I'm jiggy. No. DK as in D-E-C-A-Y. DK as in rotten. There's a there's a different smell between rotting flesh and non-rotting flesh. Yes, there's a difference. And if a human can smell the difference between rotting flesh and dead and, and living flesh, surely a bear can. So that that don't make any sense right there either. So you're gonna lay down and pretend like you're dead, so the bear will be tricked into thinking that, oh, this is dead flesh. Let me not eat dead flesh. When has dead flesh ever stopped the bear from eating it? What? In the event that bears choose to eat meat, right? When has a dead when has a when has a carcass 
Well, when has the, the carcass of a dead deer ever deterred a bear from eating it? Has a bear ever stopped eating a dead car a dead deer carcass because it was dead? Huh? Has that ever happened before? Has the bear said, "Oh wait a minute, this deer is dead. I can smell the I can smell the flesh. Let me not eat it." Has a bear ever done that before? Because if a bear will eat a dead deer or a dead moose, you really think that you plain dead is going to trick that bear into thinking that you're dead and decaying? What? Like, like, who? What? What genius thought that that was a smart idea? Who obviously never been attacked by a bear like that? That's something. That's, that's something like you could tell. Like this person never actually been attacked by a bear. Now, this is what you do: ask somebody who's actually been attacked by a bear, and then you ask them, "Excuse me, sir or ma'am, here's a question: Does playing dead while being attacked by a bear actually work?" And then there's your answer: Like, no, it don't work. Matter of fact, it made it easier for the bear to eat me because I wasn't moving. <laughs> what the fuck? What? What? All you did was make yourself an easier target because, oh, this, this. Because you ain't moving. You ain't fighting back. You ain't trying to run away. Oh. The bear just said, well, shit, free meal. You ain't going to move? No? Okay. All right. Well, let me eat you then. All right. Thank you. Thank you for donating to me and my, my cubs, fine. Man, crazy. Who? Jeez, man. Uh, some, sometimes things are just stupid. I know people say, you know, no, no stupid question, but just sometimes things in this world really are just stupid. That that really is stupid. Oh, uh, boy. Mm. Jeez, that, that's I had me a good little seventeen minute rant on that one. That was that was that's hilarious. Anyway, I'm about to be done with this uh drawing. Thank you very much for watching this video. Leave a comment down below, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will catch you all later. Peace.